Hey, I'm back today to do a quick book review. I wasn't actually going to do a book review on this book because I feel like my thoughts will be redundant to what other people have already said. I haven't actually read a lot of reviews or watched a lot or watched any reviews on YouTube about this book, but I feel like for sure I am not the only person that's going to be making videos on this content. Um, I finished The Hate You Give today by Angie Thomas and I finished it a few hours ago and I have just found myself, I was literally just washing dishes maybe like five minutes ago and I thought like, I just kept thinking about the story and thinking about why I think it's a good story and I just kind of wanted to record my thoughts I guess and put that up there. Um, so the basic story, I did talk about this in my book library haul. The basic story is that Star, the main character, is at a party with a friend, a male friend. They get pulled over after the party. Things happen. Police officer ends up shooting her friend. Her, I think they're 17. Um, and it says 16, so he must be 16 as well. And he dies. So this is a very familiar story. We all, I think, in living in, specifically if you live in America, this is a this is a story that keeps happening. Um, and what I really liked about it the most is that, maybe not the most, but I think in terms of the actual content of the book, what I liked is that I don't live in anywhere, like, I live kind of close to where one of the shootings happened um, about two years ago now. And I, but it wasn't in my community. Okay, so that kind of, I then listened to this, I listened to what happened on the news. I feel like I'm kind of stuttering a little bit, but I'll get through it. Um, and the media can change what you think. And you will hear stories about like, okay, this white officer killed a black person, um, male or female, and oftentimes it's justified, right? And that's the issue with like Black Lives Matter and stuff like that is that people in the media and therefore people you know, like me, like an average person watching the news, justify it. M maybe not even justify it, because I understand that there's a problem, but you'll hear like, okay, this guy was, you know, doing X, Y, and Z, and that's why he got shot. And so in your mind, you kind of like tie that up, and you're like, oh yeah, there's an issue here, but like you, it ties up easily if you say like in this story, well, he was a drug dealer, so he had it coming, or something like that. And I feel like that's a common thing, right? So I think that this book specifically will give people maybe the other side. Obviously this is just one story, it's not a story that can encompass every single story of a black person being murdered by a white cop. Um, but I think that it can give some dialogue, especially because it is considered young adult. I think that it will give younger people another side to the story. What I really loved about this book as well is that it's so well-rounded, so you don't really just focus only on that. You talk about people living in poverty. You definitely talk about black versus white. She has a white boyfriend, and that's addressed in there, and I thought, I thought that that was really well done, and I like that it felt really real. I think that somebody who is growing up in her kind of community where you maybe are poor and you feel like persecuted by the police and your parents feel that same way and it's not made up. I mean, it's happening. Um, I feel like you could read this story and maybe it would be too familiar. Maybe you wouldn't like that part of it, but like, it seems like it's real. I just think it's so well written. I don't think it reads as a young adult, obviously, because you have a 16 year old as your narrator, that kind of stuff feels young. But, you know, one of her friends is Asian and she even makes a comment in there about, you know, people, um, people making a comment to her about like at Thanksgiving did she eat cats and just that kind of like everyday racism that is sometimes accepted and shouldn't be I guess. There was one quote in here that um, I unmarked the pages because I wasn't I wasn't gonna do a book review so maybe I won't be able to find it. It said something about like that's the problem we let people say stuff and they say it so much that it becomes okay to them and normal for us. What's the point of having a voice if you're going to be silent in those moments you shouldn't be? And I just thought that was such a profound statement. And I don't know, I just keep thinking of this book and I think it's so 
good. And I like that they, they don't make Star as the main character, but they don't necessarily make her the only character that you care about. So I feel like that's maybe all of my thoughts right now on it. I just kind of, I didn't think this review through at all. I literally was just like, I'm still thinking about it. I need to talk about it. Um, but yeah, I just think that, oh, I know I have a little, I have my little note up here. Um, I do like that they talk about, because she witnessed the killing of her friend, they really talk about a lot about her trauma as well, which I do think that we don't really talk about that when we, you know, see like the black man on the ground and he gets killed or he gets beaten, beaten by a cop. You don't really think about what the trauma um, is for the people who see it and, um, you know, maybe are also of that minority and you feel like that's that trauma and the fear and like where that can kind of breed the fear and hatred of police officers and white people probably in generally but specifically police officers and I felt like they dealt with that really well in this book as well. So I'm going to wrap it up because I wanted to make this quick. I'm at six minutes and 12 seconds right now. Thank you for watching if you did. Um, I was holding the book up the entire time which is maybe a little awkward but I just loved it so much and I think that this is a good one. Um, and I have a feeling other people feel the same way. Okay, so I hope that you have a happy day. Thank you again for watching. Have a good day. Bye.